Made in Japan started as an idea from the Japanese record company. They said, we, uh, we want a live album, Japan only. And we hated the thought of live albums, uh, strangely, for a band that was so good live. Um, just thought, yeah, maybe not such a... So we, we said, only if it, only it comes out in Japan, right? Uh, thus the title. You know, I mean, and Made in Japan also as a, a title was a joke because in England in the 60s, 50s, 60s and 70s, if something was said to be made in Japan, it was almost like it was like second rate, you know, how the, those tables were turned. But, um, you know, so to, to us, it was like, oh, yeah, it's just made in Japan. And it would only ever come out in, in Japan. Um, we eventually heard it and realised that we had something rather wonderful. Uh, a band on fire, I would say. A band absolutely at the top of its game. That's why I love that album. It, it's a beautiful snapshot of the band uh, in, in all its glory, playing live, firing off each other, listening to each other, working it out live on stage, on the night playing to a, 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 at the top of his game. Made in Japan is so successful and still sells, and people still rate it as one of the great live albums, um, rock albums. One of the reasons for that is is the, the brilliance of, of our producer, of Martin Birch, absolutely under incredibly difficult conditions to produce that. 